Lajana and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below and if you're returning, hey! So as you guys can see, I'm giving you guys a Bratz makeup tutorial today. I'm super excited about it. I literally grew up playing with Bratz, so I was like, why not? I consider myself a brat and if you want to know which one, Yasmin, that's me. <laughs> but. I'm super excited to do this super cute makeup tutorial for you guys, so before we get into it, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe down below, of course, and now, let's get into the video. So I am starting off by spraying my face with primer, but I did want you guys to see the look we're going for, so we're going for the smoky pink eye. So I'm using my True Match foundation as I always do. I literally want to find a new foundation, but I love this foundation, so I'm just going to go in with that. I'm going for a more like full coverage look because obviously we're turning into a brass doll. They're literally flawless. So I'm going in with an extra layer this time of my foundation. You don't have to do this, this is definitely optional. But for this foundation, I feel like it's kind of medium coverage, so I'm gonna try to work this one up just to make sure we get a flawless finish. So now I'm gonna take my Maybelline concealer, Fit Me of course, in the color 30 Honey. This is one of my faves. You guys know what this one looks like. Same old, same old. You guys let me know down below if you guys want me to let you know whenever I do get some new makeup because I'm definitely going to wait till I run out of this stuff and I'm gonna give me an all new set of makeup. Leave me some comments down below if you guys know what type of foundation would be nice, a concealer that you recommend. Let your girl know because I haven't been makeup shopping in forever. But as always, I'm just going to apply this to all my problem areas. So I'm going to go underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead, and a little bit on my chin. And I think with today's look, I'm definitely going to go a little bit heavier on concealer. So I'm going to come back for a second round underneath my eyes because I have the most problems there. But yeah, just going to get that flawless look for that doll skin. All right, now I'm going to go finish my brows off of camera. So once I have blended all my concealer, I'm going to set my under eye. Of course, I'm still using my Morphe powder in the color Banana Rich. Love this stuff. So I'm going to set my face and we're going to keep going. So the look that we will be achieving is a pink smoky eye. So I'm going to start with the smoky part. I actually used three eyeshadows to get the look that I wanted to get that exact burnt color that the doll has in her crease. So I took a very dark rustic red and started with that. It's kind of brown. It's a semi red brown. And then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. But I took the black eyeshadow very, very lightly. It's actually the black eyeshadow from the James Charles palette. And I rubbed that on top of it. Remember to focus in on your crease and above your brow bone because you are going to be doing a cut crease. So your lid is kind of obsolete right now. <laughs> So once you get the color deepened how you like it, it should look something like this. 
and now we're moving on to the cut crease so I'm just gonna take some of my concealer and a flat angle brush my angle brush is from elf and I'm just gonna draw a line right above my crease so not in my exact crease but just right above it I do this because it's hard to see the cut crease when you do it on your actual crease so going just a little bit above your actual crease line will make it pop out a lot more next I'm just gonna fill in that area so I'm just gonna paint it in just like a coloring book basically but once you get to the end you don't want to take it all the way to the end of your eye you kind of want to just fade it out um, you guys will see me do it um, I pretty much just use less and less product as I get to the end and then I brush it Next, I'm taking the color Shook from the James Charles palette and I'm packing that on the entire concealed area, making sure I don't miss a spot. And you can literally go in with this color because it's gonna be the most shimmering color on your entire look. So go in with this one. So next I'm taking the color Boutique from the James Charles palette as well and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye and blend it a little bit into the crease. It's a really pretty dusty pink color and it blends really well with the dark color in the creases. So after finishing my other eye off camera, I'm gonna take my matte bronzer and I'm just gonna go in. I use the color Deep Tan, mine is the NYX bronzer, nothing special, but I love this bronzer. Then I'm going in with my CoverGirl Cheekers and the Cover Rock and Roll. It's really pretty. Um, it's just a pink pastel color and I'm gonna pack that on heavily, guys. A lot of blush. <laughs> Then as normal, I'm gonna take my Milani highlight in the color 04, and I'm gonna put that all down my nose, um, a dot on my chin, and of course on my cheekbones. So we're done with that. Now let's move on to the most fun part of the tutorial, which is finishing up the eyes and doing the lips. So now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, and I'm just gonna put a layer on my bottom lash line, making sure that I saturate it on the inside and on the outside because you want this to really open up your eyes. Then I'm just gonna take some mascara and pop it on my bottom lashes. So next I'm taking my Wet n Wild pencil and I'm going to line my lips. I'm gonna start off by lining them normally and then I'm gonna go around and do a thicker line on both the top and bottom and then I'm gonna shade in more of my top than I do the bottom. You guys will see me do it, it's kind of hard to explain, but I think this makes for a prettier color once you blend it with your lip gloss. The lip gloss I'll be using is a NYX Butter Gloss in the color Bit of Honey. It's a really pretty pale pink.
so after blending you should have a color similar to this and then after that the look is complete Alrighty guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Make sure you tag me if you do try this look. I'd love to see you guys try it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.